Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab, right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He'll try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tail of the tape for this featherweight fight. Both fighters are 31, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 140 pounds. Vicious! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Bruce, the Dragon Lee! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Ooh, head kick landed. to avoid the right. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows.
That right hand hurt him a little bit. Nice punch by Lee. Beautiful body kick. And he landed the right hand there. Throws the right hand there. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. This is very tricky when he throws that body kick. Nice punch there by Lee. Under three minutes now to go in round one. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Big call from Brett Lance. Now he gets back to range. by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, and making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Trying to kick the leg out. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? A oh, little single collar tie there. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Nice punch there. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Final seconds of round one. Big body kick. Round two straight ahead. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot of leg kicks for good measure in that round. I mean, leg kicks are the key. You watch people win fights with just leg kicks, especially in this game. I mean, it is my strike of choice. I love the animation when I've landed so many leg kicks that my opponent just kind of waves me off and the fight gets stopped. Keep throwing them. If they're not going to check them, keep throwing the leg kick. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. You 
you don't know when that leg kick comes. And he connects there. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Left punch is good. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Big head kick lands. Lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Punch coming, it's blocked. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Just out of range with that right hook. Beautiful punch. good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Lands the right hand. Leg and kick. both guys really throwing with authority. We'll see what he can do with it. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Great punch. 20 seconds left to go in round two. You got to check these low leg kicks. 30 seconds remain in round two. All right, single collar tie now. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. Jump that round. You're all right. You're going to get back out there and put it on him now. It's a little pain. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. 
Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Slips that left hand. Unable to connect there. Continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, and there's a kick to the body, not having that one blocked by Lee. Nice head kick. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landing. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Head kick. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked, you have the Anderson Silva situation. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Let's go, guys, work! Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Ooh, what a punch. Produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Checks the leg kick. Shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Way to hide that leg kick. 15 seconds to go. Ten seconds to go. Punch over the top. Flips the shot. Oh, I 
lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Big punch land through the middle. Lee's shot is blocked. Nice sneaky head kick. Beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Ooh, what a punch. Just over three minutes to go. And now he's got the tight push. All right, less than three minutes to go here in round number four. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Get him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Let those hands go. Whoa! Oh, he might be out. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Beautiful kick. Hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. <laughs> nice body team. Right on the button. <laughs> Able to check the high kick. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he yeah. has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Oh, nice counter jab there. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body. And if you're the defensive fighter here, you got to make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many. You got to get the elbow to the side. Otherwise, he's going to land one. That's going to shut everything down. Powerful leg kick land. Oh, 
that's a nice strike. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds the knockout. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. What a body kick. Lee's kick attempt there blocked. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Oh, he hurt it bad with a jab. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Big body kick lands. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Well, I'm not sure how much more damage he can take to the body. You may want to drop that elbow defensively. Of course, that opens you up to damage upstairs. Pick your poison for him here as he continues to absorb damage. Swing and a big miss by Lee. Misses with that punch. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Nice kick. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. Just unable to quite find that range. the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Big punch land. Ooh. Visibly limping here. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Uppercut attempt here. Nice job defensively there by Lee. Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man oh. Daniel Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back and fight the way that we're used to seeing him fight. He needs to take a breath, take a moment, and get back to work. 
One minute to go in the fight. Can't take many of those. You better check. Oh! That one snuck in. Nice strike. Thirty seconds to go in the round. of this fight. Nice body to run up the elbow. What else can you say but what a fight? We won, baby. We won. All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen tonight. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. Decision now in the buff has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating control all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that from start to finish, and he wins a unanimous decision.